Okay, this is typical of a uh, of one AND gate. This is a three input AND gate. It consists of five resistors and three diodes in the transistor. We have a 10k ohm pull-up resistor at the base, and this 10k ohm resistor in the emitter is used to keep the output at ground until uh, all three inputs become positive, and then we have a valid signal coming out of the uh, emitter. If that resistor was not in there, it could give a erroneous output. Uh, and we try to keep the output clean that way. Uh, the two K ohm resistors here going through the diodes. The diodes are used to keep the inputs separate from each other. And as I said, this is typical of uh, one AND gate. Um, the uh, output of this AND gate will then feed into the RS latch following it. And you'll see that in the next part of this video. This is typical of a uh, RS latch. It consists of the uh, three resistors on each inverter. Two inverters cross couple from the collector of one to the, to the base of the other. To the 10 ohm resistors, I have two 10 ohm resistors on the base, one to be connected to the output of the AND gate, the other to be connected to the cross couple of the other inverter. This is on the master side of the flip-flop. Okay, now as we move on to the slave side of the flip-flop now, we have a two-input AND gate. Again, constructed just like the three-input AND gate, only one less input. And these AND gates will then feed from the RS latches of the master side inputs and those these AND gates will feed into the inputs of the next RS latch would be on the slave side. Finally we are on the and finally we are on the slave side of the flip flop. Again two inverters cross couple together to form an RS latch. Now you will note on the LEDs it's important for this kind of uh, resistor values that I used for this circuit, it's important to have those 470 ohm resistors on the uh, cathode side of the LEDs if you're going to use LEDs for the outputs and the reason for that is is to raise the voltage up here at the collector. That voltage has to be raised up enough here above uh, ground in order to use the value resistors that we used here for the base and collector resistors. You can experiment with the uh, with these resistors to get the voltage where you would like it to be to work properly, but with this configuration, it works properly uh, with these values. What is shown here is the clock inverter. The clock the clock signal comes in through here, and the output of the clock inverter goes through the second set of AND gates. Here is the list of the components right here that would uh, make up this entire circuit. And finally the whole topology of the entire circuit where you have the cross coupling of the output of one and one uh, part latch going into the AND gate of the opposite one down here this one goes up over into here. As you can follow the lines through there, you can see how, they're, uh, how the outputs are cross called back to the inputs to give the uh, JK function. So I hope this helps in showing how the schematic, uh, how this circuit works, and the uh, schematic shows up properly to be able to build this circuit. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.